Hello there, welcome to the Air Gun Gear Show. This is the Remington Express. Remington is one of the best known names in the firearms industry. In fact, they've been making firearms since 1816, when their founder, Eliphat Remington II, decided that he could make a better rifle than you could actually buy. So that's what he did, a flintlock rifle. Now he fired it in competition. Everyone liked it. He came second, but everyone still liked what he got. And well, the rest is history. Up to modern day Remington, one of the most popular rifles they ever made was the 700. And that is what the Remington Express air rifle is based on. The rifle I have here is the 177 version and it's a full powered, fully loaded air gun. And this is priced to compete at the starting point of the market. But it's also a package. Not only do you get the rifle, but you get the scope and mounts as well. It really is a beauty to look at. No, really, it is. It's a seriously good looking rifle. In fact, it could have the Germans running for the hills. The Remington Express has a two-stage trigger. Recoil shoulder pad, fibre sights, not that you'll use them with the scope included, and auto safety. Total length is 45 inches with a 19 inch barrel and it weighs around eight pounds. But the build quality is what grabs me. The finish around the barrel is exquisite and the brake barrel mechanism does not rattle or rub. I can actually see the thread lock on the screws. I think someone at Remington has either underpriced or over-engineered the Express. The underside has a nice finishing touch engraved into the wood. The checkering gives a comforting tingle to the fingers on touch and it fits in the shoulder nicely. Now I'm a big guy and I feel very comfortable with the rifle. Moving with the Remington feels easy. Walking is not a heavy handed swapping affair. Reloading in the field is also easy, not a knee banging motion. How does it shoot? Well, let's see. I'm shooting at 15 meters using a whole range of pellets. And I'm using the little logos in the corners of the target as my point of aim. tell you it's not pellet fussy on loading. Everything slides in a treat. And on shooting at 15 meters, it does seem to prefer the bizlis. Producing a sub 25 mil group, it's got the accuracy to tackle small pests nearby. The scope is a fine sturdy affair. It's a 4x32 basic crosshair scope. But the clarity is great and out to 20 yards it gives a clear vision. And the scope rail is grooved to help with creep. With practice, the Remington Express is capable of more, reaching out to spinners at 25 yards with repeat accuracy.
targets at 30 yards are hit with a little less frequency, but that could be me. Either way, if you know your ranges and your limits, you will hit the required target every time. Over an average five shot group, the Remington Express puts out 10.94 foot pounds and its spread of feet per second in those five shots is only 15.6. That's high end PCP territory. Now I'm not saying that the Remington Express is going to replace your high end PCP. But what I am saying is that the engineering wizardry that's going on inside that gloriously grained stock is clearly working as sweet as candy. So what do I think? I like the Remington Express so much, it's going to stay in my cabinet. And actually, history repeats itself. Remington have again looked at what you can get for your money, and they've decided that they can do better than that. And they damn well have. Thank you.